I like cash talk. Lady diamonds hitting, turn the flash on. I'm like Win Dixie, I get bags off. Baby got a pretty face, slim waist, ass off. I'ma get my own sack, bitch. I never had the bag. I ain't taking shit back, bitch. I said what I said. I was down. Hey everyone, welcome back to a vlog. This vlog is going to be a little different. I am going to be traveling to Alabama to see my sister graduate from Auburn. So it's literally going to be like a 27 hour trip. I'm flying there for Friday night and then I'm flying back Saturday night. So it's going to be very quick, but still very exciting. So today is Thursday and I have to prep for that pack get everything ready, which obviously is not a lot, but still it's something I have to get done. Um, I literally have one eyelash on right here still from the extensions I did. It did not come off, but we're gonna have to get that off tonight somehow, some way, because I'm gonna put on mascara for the trip and then probably some false eyelashes that you just take on and off for the day. That is the plan for today um, to pack and get ready for the trip. I'll show you all what I'm bringing. I also have to go get blood drawn, nothing crazy, just like routine blood work. I'm very nervous for that. I haven't eaten yet. It's at one o'clock, so I can't eat until then, but I'm very nervous. Um, it's also National Girlfriend Day, and I'm hoping my boyfriend takes me out to ice cream because that's all I want. Um, so yeah, let's get to packing. So I'm in my bathroom first. I'm gonna try and fit everything that I need into these two bags, but then again, it's only 24 hours, so there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to. Plus my mom said that um, she's gonna bring a lot of stuff too, so I don't really need to pack body wash or anything like that. So I'm trying to figure out, I got all of these minis um, in my last vlog to travel with, so I'm gonna try and see what I should bring. I'm gonna put my makeup in the face one and then um, everything else in the skin one. So one thing that I do need definitely is hair gel because I feel like that's something my mom wouldn't have. I'm gonna bring some micellar water too. I have to get a bag for the little um, cotton rounds too. I can't forget those. And then deodorant, of course. I'm gonna bring a mini face wash. And then I'm pretty sure she's going to have toothpaste for me to use, um, shaving cream, um, body wash. So I'm just going to bring my Aquaphor just in case and then a body lotion as well. This is the Vaseline nourishing one. I really like Vaseline lotions. And the last few things that I'm going to pack are this mini Ariana Grande perfume, which um, I'll probably just wear for the graduation. Then I have my two eye creams. It's the Brighten Eye Cream and the Caffeine Cream from um, the Inky List. And then my niacinamide. So that's everything for skincare. I have a toothbrush. And then I have my mini Vaseline that I just put on at night for like a lip mask. And then tomorrow morning, I'll pack my razor as well. This is the Billy razor cover. And then I'll do my hair tonight, so wash it and everything, curl it tomorrow so that I don't have to bring any of my hair products besides the hair gel and then some bobby pins and some hair ties. So that's everything for skincare and bathroom. Tomorrow morning when I'm doing my makeup, I'll just throw it all in here afterwards. And then I have to choose two outfits, one to wear to the airport tomorrow. It has to be a nice one because when I get off, I'm getting my rental car and then I'm going right to dinner for Friday night. And then on Saturday, I'm gonna have to wear a graduation outfit. Um, so again, something nice like a dress or something. And then hopefully I'll have time to change before the flight, but I don't really know. So I'll have to see if I can find an outfit to wear um, for the plane ride home and then a pair of pajamas and that's so I have my mini carry-on suitcase and then these are all the clothes I'm bringing so I'll wear this on the plane because it gets pretty um, cold on the plane it's just to cover up a little sweatshirt um, and then I'm going to wear this as my outfit for the plane these pants are from Fashion Nova they're really comfortable cargo shorts I have a little neutral tank top that I'll pair with the shorts and it makes for a cute like casual outfit but still something that I can go to dinner in hopefully I really don't know what the vibes are of this dinner so maybe I should ask her before I just pack this but I'm packing that for now 
And then I have my pajama set, which is just from Marshalls. It's a juicy set. And then this is the dress that I chose to wear. I really don't have a lot of graduation style dresses. And when I went to look at Target, they really didn't have any either, but it's this black um, long maxi dress. So that is what I'll be wearing to the graduation. Other than that, I have underwear, the bra that will go with this. And then I just have to pack my makeup and I believe that's it. So this is like the lightest I've ever traveled. Um, I'm overthinking it, I think, but we're gonna be good. So that is it for packing. Hey everyone, it is Friday morning and we're about to go to the airport. I ended up ditching the suitcase because it's one day, who do I think I am? And I put everything in this backpack. I'm very proud of myself, very impressed. I curled my hair a little. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It's already fallen out a little. And then I put on my Ardell Balayage Brown Wispy Lashes. I think I got that right. And we're about to head to the airport, like I said. Um, I'll see you all there. And then tonight we're going out to dinner and then tomorrow is the graduation. And then tomorrow night we're going to dinner and right after that, I am flying back home. So it's very quick, but I'm gonna take you along for the rest of the trip. Um, so let's go to the airport. Every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high, hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the room. I'm talking about dark room perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, uh, and I know your taste this a little bit, mm, high maintenance, uh, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis, with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it, I mean I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you and, you know, in the mood for empathy, is blood in my pen. So I just got to the last restaurant that we're going to before I have to go catch my plane. I can't be here too long so I probably won't eat dinner but I want to say goodbye to my family and then I have to return the rental car and then take the plane back home. But the trip has been really nice. The graduation was short and sweet, really beautiful. Um, the lunch afterwards was really good. Um, seeing my family has been really nice. So overall the trip was very quick but I've had a really good time. I am excited to go home back to my bed because I don't like staying in hotel beds but anyways I'm about to go in say goodbye to my family maybe get something to eat and then head to the airport hey guys so if you can't tell I'm in a hotel my flight was canceled um, it's 11 p.m. so I was sitting there from I think like 8 o'clock when I dropped off the rental car to 10 30 and they kept pushing back the flight until it was eventually canceled but I'm here at a really nice hotel for the night and then I have a flight tomorrow around 7 p.m. So hopefully I could find something to do in the meantime or just hang out somewhere because I was sitting on the floor in the airport because all the seats were taken. 
So I'm about to go to bed. I'm really exhausted, mentally drained, and I'll see you all in the morning or the next day. Hopefully when I see you next, I'll be back home. Good morning, happy Sunday. So my mom is about to come pick me up and we're gonna go to a place called Lake Martin. It's in Alabama for the day, only for a few hours really, cause then we have to drive back to the airport and hopefully I can get on the flight tonight but I am excited to see my family still and spend more time with them. This was actually a really nice hotel. It was like the nicest one I've ever stayed in. It's right off of the Atlanta airport. I believe it's the Marriott Gateway. So if you ever get stuck like I did, definitely try this one out. But we're about to go to the lake. I'll show you all what it looks like and everything. And then hopefully we can go back home. good morning everyone i am finally home i am exhausted it's about like 11 in the morning but we didn't get in till like one o'clock and i didn't go to sleep till late so i'm really tired but we're getting gas and then we're going to get some einstein bagels because i didn't also get dinner last night um so i'm really hungry so we're gonna get something to eat and then when we go home i have to go to the grocery store get our groceries for the week i want to set up my new chair for my desk um because i'm going to be virtual teaching and i'm going to make dinner tonight and do some homework. So that's everything I planned for today. that I need for the week. I'm making mango salmon, um, buffalo chicken, mac and cheese, and sloppy joes this week. And then I got everything we need for like breakfast and lunch. So I'm gonna put everything away and then I'm going to set up the new desk chair with you all. she can cross your legs in it because this is how I feel most comfortable sitting and it's in this really pink color but it came in a bunch of other colors so I'll link it down below 
but it twirls, which I like, and you can lean back. The only bad thing is it doesn't have wheels, but that's alright, because I really just wanted to be able to cross my legs in it. TJ Maxx and we found a bunch of good stuff. I did go over the budget I think by like $10 and my boyfriend bought a few things for himself that I'm going to include in this haul as well so it's going to sound like a lot of money but really I didn't spend all of it. He spent some of it too. So let's start off with this bag. I did go in there and I wanted these so bad. It's the cherry sheets and I got it for our full size bed and I saw these on TikTok and right now our bedroom has this green as you can see quilt and everything and I thought that the cherry sheets would match the green because obviously cherries have the leaves so I'm really excited to put these on the bed after I wash them and these were $16.99 and it comes with a sheet, two pillowcases, a fitted sheet and they had them in king, queen, and full. The next thing I got, I'm so obsessed with. I saw it, walked away, and I was like, I have to go back and get that. But it is this two-sided pillow for Halloween. I'm gonna put this side on our couch, but I really like this side as well. It has the skeleton doing a little peace sign, and I think that this is so cute. And this was a $24.99, and it's really nice quality and super soft. So, we did go in there in search of pillows. I wanted pillows for the bedroom and for the couch. So these are the pillows that my boyfriend picked out. It's a set of two and it's this really nice like bluish greenish gray. I don't know how to describe this color, but I really like them. And these were $34.99. They're super big as you can see and they are really, really soft. So I'm gonna put these on the couch. And for the last pillow, this is for the bed to match the sheets and to just be like a decorative pillow. It's this cherry pillow. I think that cherries are so cute and I'm so excited to have a little cherry theme going on. And this was $19.99, so not too bad, only $20. For this really nice pillow and again these are really soft i think that tj maxx pillows are super good quality so i'm super happy with all of these pillows next is another halloween decoration it is these dish towels but they're a little bit different than your typical halloween theme it's this skeleton with a cowboy hat and this little pink pumpkin with the cowboy hat and has the cowboy boots and little bats on them and then it comes with two of those and then one pink regular towel in the middle 
and this was $9.99. I think that these are so cute and they're definitely a little bit different than your typical Halloween decorations, which I like because honestly, you can put these out. I feel like maybe other people don't, but I feel like you can put these out throughout the year because I don't know, it doesn't scream like Halloween to me, like a typical Halloween <laughs> decoration would. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I'm thinking in my head. The next thing I got is this aloe vera and sea salt foot mask. This was $3.99. I got some more powder puffs in these neutral colors for $5.99. I got this pair of two bracelets from Arm Candy Los Angeles Jewelry, which I've gotten this brand at TJ Maxx before and I really like it. It was $16.99 and it comes with these two gold little bracelets, one with the hearts and then one with the kind of like Van Cleave design at the top. And I think that this is so pretty. I love my gold jewelry, so I can't wait to wear these. And then I, I don't know what this is called. Foot rasp? That's what it says on the packaging. But it's one of those things for your feet to do like a little um, pedicure. So I'll probably do this with the foot mask and get like all the dead skin off. And this was on sale for $4. And now on to the last bag. So these are actually something my boyfriend picked out. They are these like baseball sunglasses and they are the Easton brand, which is part of the reason he got them because his last name is Easton and they are $12.99. They have the white framing and then the little like holographic, however you call this, frames here, and he looked really good in them. I saw this Philosophy body wash. It's the Citrone and Sage, and this smells so good, and to make it even better, it was on sale for $9. I know Philosophy is typically really expensive, so I was really excited to get this, and it matches the green of my bathroom, which I know doesn't really matter, but for me, it's just like that cute extra touch. And then the last thing that we got is another Halloween decoration, which I think is so cute. It's these three little smiling ghosts and I just love this so much. It's like a simple but cute Halloween decoration and this was only $12.99. So I'm gonna put this, I think, underneath the coffee table. But that is everything that I got from TJ Maxx to use my $60 in rewards and go and treat myself. So excited to start accumulating my decorations for fall since I just moved into a new apartment and I just wanna start over the years getting more fall decorations and everything. Every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Uh, and I know you taste this a little bit. Mm. Hey, guys. It's hey, me, hey guys. your favorite YouTuber. We're about to put together our, oh, the address was showing, the new Good. furniture that we got that my aunt kindly sent to us. And it is outdoor, what? It's not kindly. My aunt kindly sent to us. <laughs> my aunt Kara kindly sent to us. And we're gonna put it together. It's two chairs in this little like table. And I'm pretty sure the chairs are rocking chairs. So Cameron's gonna help me be Bob the Builder. I'm Bob the Builder though. He's Wendy. And we're gonna put um, the furniture together. And then I'll show you all what it looks like out on the deck. So confusing, finding the right ways to express Being love, it's a fear, it's a drug we do, I guess An addiction we won't admit Maybe you should know this
out another package in today from Rugs USA. And this is just like, I guess they call it a runner. I'm going to put it in the hallway leading up to our kitchen um, just so that it's a little bit more comfortable um, while we're walking in. And I think rugs add a lot more of a homey feeling. So I'm going to show you all what it looks like. The rug we got in our living room is also from this same brand. So this is the um, rug pad so that it doesn't slip. So this is what I'm going to put down. And then this is the rug. So it has some blues and grays to it, which um, gray is one of the colors of our house right now. The couch is gray. So I really like the design of this rug. This is how it looks. So I think this is so cute. It's going to look so good. Let's go set it up. So here's the design of the new rug. I really like it here. We have to get rid of or move this somewhere else and then I have to put the wheels on my bike and we're gonna put that in storage as well. But I really like how it makes the space look. We also hung up some pictures, but I'm gonna show you all that in a new furnished apartment tour. Hey everyone, it is now Wednesday. Sorry I didn't get on too much yesterday. It was a very busy day and I started a very special vlog which is my 1K vlog, which is like a giveaway and a bunch of other little things. So I was really busy with that, but I did show you some of the furniture that we put together. I'm very happy with it. The balcony furniture is so comfortable. I think it's so cute. I'm in love with it. Um, and I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I got these really cute sheets that I'm about to put on the bed and show you all. So my theme of the house is like greenish, like foresty greens, because I felt like that was a color that both Cameron and I liked if it was up to me it would have been pink but i live with a man so we chose forest green which i also obviously really love i'm wearing it right now and i also think that green and cherries go so well together because you know cherries have the little stem so i think cherries are so cute so i got these cherry sheets that i'm gonna put on the bed and a matching cherry like throw pillow for the bed as well so i just washed the sheets last night and i'm gonna put them on now my comforter is in the washer as well, so I'm gonna throw that on and show you guys what it looks like. Big dog status bell hubble. I bought linen small for my brothers. Oh, your bag told the cuddle. I got a lot to feel for Russell. Going as Lori about the paddock, then going as Joy and as dead. Felique water trying to drown a bitch. There's a habit tricking on a bitch. Shit, I'm thinking I'm curving a pimp. Shit, I'm cooking up dope like it's dinner. Shit, I curve was gon' sit nigga trim. Shit, I'm floating, I'm hiding the blimp. Shit, it look like I'm swimming in glass. Shit, I turn on my bitch. Hey everyone, it is a few days later, and while I said I wanted to do an apartment furnished tour. I feel like there's a few things that I still want to get in order before I do all of that. So I'm going to save that for a future video, but I wanted to come on to close out the video and say goodbye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you can be notified every single time that I post a video. I always appreciate it and I can't wait to see you in the next one. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Bye! Dog status bell hubble. I bought linen small for my brothers. Oh, your bag told the cutter. I got a lot to feel for Russell. Going as Lori about the paddock, then going as Joy and as dead. Felic water trying to drown a bitch. There's a habit tricking on a bitch. Shit, I'm thinking I'm curving a pimp. Shit, I'm cooking up dope like a